Hey everyone, how's it going? So, along with my Note 10, I got a whole bunch of other cool stuff for Christmas last year, including Samsung Galaxy Buds. These are Samsung's wireless earbuds, and they're tuned by AKG, and I'm gonna be checking them out today. All right, so when you buy these earbuds, you get a few things in the box. You get a quick start guide, two extra sets of ear tips and wing tips, smaller ones and larger ones, with the medium ones already installed, and a USB Type-C to Type-C charging cable. It's kind of funny how companies nowadays don't include charging brakes with their devices anymore. It's like, nah, you should already have one. The last thing you get in the box is obviously the earbuds themselves and the charging case. So the charging case actually has a battery built into it and it actually doubles as a wireless charger. So if your case is fully charged and your earbuds die, then you can just put them back in the case and charge them right back up. While the earbuds themselves give you about 6 hours of playtime, with the charging case you get about 13 hours of use from your earbuds. When you want to charge your charging case, you just plug in a USB Type-C cable into the back or throw it on a wireless charging pad if you have one. Fun fact for you, the Samsung Galaxy S10s and the Note 10s actually support reverse wireless charging. So, if your Galaxy Buds are low battery or they're dead, you can throw them on your phone and charge them back up. Set them down gently on your, I don't know why I always say throw. Now the pairing process for the Galaxy Buds is actually really simple, at least if you have a Samsung phone. All you have to do is open up the lid and then your phone will prompt you to connect to the wireless earbuds. After a while, you're connected and that's pretty much it. You can also connect the Galaxy Buds to non-Samsung devices. Just make sure that your Bluetooth is enabled and that this lid is open during the pairing process. When the lid on the charging case is open, the Galaxy Buds become discoverable to other devices. Now style-wise, I really like the design of the earbuds. They're just so compact and so sleek. I also love the carrying case and how it fits just so perfectly in the palm of my hand. It's so compact that I can just throw it in my pocket or in my backpack and I don't have to worry about it taking up much space. There are actually no physical buttons on the Galaxy Buds, they actually have touch pads built into them and they have four functions. You have a single tap which pauses or unpauses your music, double tap which skips to the next song, triple tap which goes back to the previous song, and you also have a press and hold function that you can program to use Bixby or Google or even control the volume. Double tap also answers and ends calls. Now the Galaxy Wearable app is super useful and it is a must if you have a Samsung phone. You can do things like check the charge of each individual bud, you can choose between different equalizer presets, turn notifications on or off, and enable or disable ambient sound. You can also lock the touch pads on your Galaxy Buds and change what press and hold does for each earbud. For example, you can program your left earbud to put the volume down and program your right to put the volume up, or you can program the left earbud to enable ambient sound and the right to launch Google. Another really cool thing on the Galaxy Wearable app is the ability to find your earbuds if you lose them. All right, so if you lost your earbuds for whatever reason, you wanna to go to the Galaxy Wearable app, go to Find My Earbuds, press Start, and your Galaxy earbuds will actually start beeping. All right, so by now you're probably wondering what the heck is ambient mode. Ambient mode allows you to hear more background noise. So now you're probably wondering why the heck but I want to hear more background noise. You basically want this mode on if you want to be more aware of your surroundings, like if you're crossing the street or if you're home alone and you need to hear if somebody's like breaking into your house, then this is perfect. All right, so if you have Galaxy earbuds or you're planning on buying some, the best example I can give you is go home, connect your earbuds, turn ambient sound on, and then just open and close your door and then turn it off and then open and close your door. Like, you'll hear a pretty big difference. If you're in the market for wireless earbuds, I definitely recommend checking out the Galaxy Buds. Now, some people might argue that the sound quality isn't that great, and yes, for $130, you can probably buy better sounding headphones. But that's not the point. When you're cramming this much technology in a really small enclosure, there are gonna be drawbacks. But for wireless earbuds that can charge wirelessly, that fit in the palm of my hand, I'm sold. I feel like I have to mention this because a lot of people use AirPods, as far as the whole argument between AirPods versus Galaxy Buds, I'd say just go with whoever manufactures your phone. So if you have an iPhone, then go with AirPods. If you have a Samsung Galaxy phone, then go for the Galaxy Buds. The reason why is because you're gonna run into less compatibility issues and your devices will just work more seamlessly together and it's just, it'll, everything will just work better, trust me. I remember when I was using Apple earphones for my Samsung phone, I couldn't like increase or decrease the volume using the volume rocker on the earphones, it was just, it was ridiculous, but that's what happens when you cross-contaminate devices. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of these Galaxy Buds. If you have a pair or if you're planning on getting a pair, uh, hit that like button if you're Team Samsung. If you're Team Apple, also hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video.